Hi, um, this is my video of uh, 10 Criterion stinkers. <laughs> I'm a Criterion whore, I own almost all the, the releases of the Criterion collection. Um, and yeah, they're the label who are bringing us Buñuel, Hitchcock, Fellini, Trofan, Kurosawa, uh, Bergman, Two Tables. But also bring some some few stinkers really like what? So here we go. Number ten is uh and please avoid those movies now with the barnes and all so the Teen Drum uh is a Palm Dior winner uh of best picture best frame picture movie at the Oscar winner and it's a piece of shit. Um it doesn't work I don't know. I don't know why 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 it doesn't click. It's if you put aside the uh, sexual explicit images and the child pornography stuff, it's a movie about nothing. It's a wasteless movie, and I don't understand what is the big deal with this movie. I, I probably I will never be. Able. I watch. I see this movie just as a obnoxious kid who screams and plays a drum. That's all. Nine border radio. Um, this movie sucks. This movie sucks so bad. Um, um this movie is indie, it's an independent movie, and I'm um, I love in independent movies. I love uh, blind buy movies too. I love being. Uh, there's nothing more rewarding than blind buy a movie that rewarding is so so big. Sometimes it's a big disappointment, like Border Radio, it's a movie about radio. <laughs> If awful. Uh, eight. Uh, Mike Lee. Uh, naked. Uh, this movie will be released on Blu-ray the next couple of weeks or this week. I don't know. Um, I hate it with all my guts, and I can't believe that it's directed by the same director who directed Wolf, one of my favorite movies of ever, one of the most beautiful movies ever, Secrets and Lies, and it comes with something so awful like this. Uh, there's a lot I don't understand why in these movies but the thing that bothers me the most is uh, the portrayal of woman in this movie uh, he put the portrayal of the, the director portrays woman in such an awful and low way that just without the take away all the excitement and emotion or something to, to discover in this movie and plus the character is an awful character even though that is the meaning of the movie but I, I don't know it doesn't work and it please avoid this piece of crap. Uh, number seven uh, a thriller a three by Jean Logo Dart, three atrocities by Jean Logo Dart uh, Alpha Bill, two or three things I know about her in masculine and feminine. Uh, Jean Logo Dart is he had just made two very good controversial controversial to cinema which is breathless if you count that and the uh, Anna Karina and Jean Paul Belmondo careers that's all uh, there is no other directors of Noxious so one that says well I'm Jean Le Godard, so I have the right to do whatever I want and it's, it's I don't know why I'm talking about like that because I own all of uh, most of his all of his criterions two or three things I know about her a movie about nothing 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 at all masculine and feminine uh, a movie about nothing with uh, with uh, the kid of the 400 blows now being a young man and a very very bad in his act this showcase just the how bad actor he is and he's like he's like protesting even this tried to be Jean Le Godard tries to be a radical with this movie like protesting again the Vietnam War and it's just a clown awful Bill it's awful not even Anna Karina can save this movie mm, it's a voiceover during all the movie is um, 100 minutes long of uh, a movie like that there's oh so much it's, it's, it's oh my God, like they sound like it sounds like the when they pull the fingernails on the piece around like <laughs> six is bad timing by Nicholas Rock. Nicholas Rock is is a 
it does just make one good movie in all his career he's a very bad director but it's the movie that he makes is one of the most beautiful is walk about one of my best movies ever uh, but it's bad I mean insignificance the amount of factor they aren't good at all and this one is the most evil but um, it tried to be so European art house you know in the John logo art uh, Fellini all those kind of stuff doing wrong going bad uh, because he put a lot of weight on the acting of this actress here, which it, she doesn't act as shit. This movie tried to be si sick, a sick movie, a very hardcore movie, but even to, to, to do that kind of movies, you need brain, and it doesn't have one. Uh, here is number five, which is a bad list, uh, list without Michael Bay. <sighs> a best movies ever. <laughs> I never understand why these two movies uh, ended up in the Criterion Armageddon and The Rock. I, I don't understand. What is the value? Why is. I don't know. I'm not gonna lose. It's just a waste. For Murmur of the Heart by Luis Mail. Luis Mail is one of the directors that has more titles on the Criterion collection. collection. And recently got two more recently. Uh, Sunset the Metro and uh, Black Moon. And I understand why. He's one of those directors that doesn't have a classic, he doesn't have a bomb movie, he just have so-so movies and bad movies. And I don't understand what is the genius behind that. And and the best example of his bad directing is here in Murmur of the Heart. This movie is so bad and so boring and so very bad acted that it comes with a scenes of incest between this young kid which plays like a 12 year kill kid and, a, and his hot mom played by a very a very good, good looking Italian actress and you don't even put attention you don't even give a damn about that scene it doesn't give you a shock you or nothing just say like I hope this movie ends because it's very very bad and it's almost two hours so don't don't buy this murmur of the heart it's, it's awful Number three is Leon Fonts Terrible is by uh, Jean-Pierre Meville and Jean Cocteau. Jean-Pierre Meville and Jean Cocteau, what could be wrong? Everything goes wrong in this movie. It's a movie that it never tried to go fly very, very high and it go flat in the asses. Uh, the how is it written? It doesn't feed the, car, the people who is saying those words and those people saying those words making this sound more awful than they they are and it doesn't work it is you, you feel the tension between what is what's probably what's happened behind the scenes and in the movies a total total hot mess such a disappointment don't buy them fans terrible don't say like oh jumping mobile is awesome jumping mobile is badass they do army of shadows the samurai i'm gonna buy though no. Don't buy that. I really make that a stupid thing. Next, number two is The Naked Kids by Samuel Fuller. I hate this movie so, so much for the first time I watched it. And then I realized that, that it's, it's a very bad comment. It's a very bad movie, but you need to watch it. This movie tried to be like like the, the drama, a hard, hardcore drama. But you, you need to watch like a comedy in laugh about all the mistakes. This is a movie, it's a total, total mess. It's a super bomb. Mm, you can count lo like playing a game, like every time something like in continuity in the movie or a mess happen in the movie, you need to uh, take a shot. After 30 minutes of watching The Naked Kids, you will be drunk ass. So please don't buy this one. <laughs> And the worst movie ever on the Criterion Collection, Top of Bien by Jean-Luc Godard, who was, who won, he is the worst director ever. Uh, this movie is so pretentious, this movie is, is so awful, it's like Jean-Luc Godard is just like trying to show himself, like saying I'm just like Jean-Luc Godard, I can do whatever I want, and the result is this hot mess. It's like, like the movies is like me, I'm gonna play record on the camera and do and that's the movie it's it's some movie that makes you feel angry watching it and and, and please if you saw saw this movie to Bobby uh, on a jail cell example for 50 cents don't even bother to buy it it doesn't work that it doesn't even work play being played on your dvd player and it doesn't even work 
paying the light for playing this movie. The light I want to consume with the DVD and the TV uh, is awful, awful, awful. One of the worst movies of all time I ever watched. So here is my video. Hope you like it. I hope you don't buy any of those movies I show. Thumbs up and goodbye.